Yeah, it's a sad loss. It as, is. I mean, as, what can you giant, say? <laughs> you know, a yeah. giant in his own way. You know, you know, a giant. There's, there's no doubt that he was a giant, and I, I just don't know how you would. I mean, when he, you know, his first couple of films, not just the, um, the dead movies. He just, oh, that first, that first decade is very rich. Um, first two decades maybe, but I mean, there's a lot there, and I don't know if he would have a lot of what we have now if it wasn't for him. I do think there needs, this is a, a it's a guy, he's a giant. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, so it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, I'm still processing it, so it's kind of, you know, it's very difficult really to, to have the words really outside of that, you know? I mean, uh, it's, you know, it, it sucks. Um, yeah. I mean, I met him three years ago. Uh, always try to get an interview with him and never did. Um, but apparently his, uh, he died while listening to the score of one of his favorite films, The Quiet Man. Mm-hmm. And mm. apparently he ha- he hasn't had lung cancer for long. They say it was a brief battle. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, not in the living dead. I mean, like, you know, the most, I guess probably the most successful indie movie of all time, probably. Right? I mean, uh, uh, probably, I mean. And uh, and and also so important because uh, because of his casting of, of uh, what was his name Dwayne 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 Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne I, I don't I don't you know I got you got to forgive me I don't remember his Dwayne I think was the first I don't remember his last name though you got to forgive me I don't Dwayne Jones yeah mm-hmm. yeah uh, which was the, you know you probably wouldn't have. Uh, you know, something like Get Out now without uh, without him in some mm-hmm. ways because of because of his casting of Mr. Jones, uh, African American actor in a time when very few uh, black people were were being cast as leads, heroic leads. So uh, uh, that's incredibly important, but. Uh, you know, it is interesting how just just by casting him, uh, it 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 infused the movie with <laughs> the movie with a political and human rights statement that uh, otherwise might not have existed uh, mm-hmm. because nothing nothing was altered much to uh, accommodate an African American actor in that movie. It didn't have to be. I mean, it was, it's, it's never, race is never even mentioned in in. Yeah. In that film, or in Dawn of the Dead too, uh, which also had an African American lead. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, but I mean, you know, of course that was by his design. You know, I mean, he uh, he wanted uh, that series to have uh, more resonance, social resonance, than uh, you know other zombie movies have. Uh, in fact, I read once that he was offered uh, some. Uh, uh, he was offered a directing job on uh, The Walking Dead, but he wasn't interested because they they weren't attacking that side. Uh, they, they they didn't attach any social social relevance to. Yeah, he their was zombies. not happy. He wasn't happy with that show. I remember him. You know, I think in that same interview, he said they're really. There's no need to. I mean, he he even thought the genre was pretty much, you know, no pun intended, dead. I mean, he just thought if you weren't making, like you said, a social commentary, what was the point? Um, you know, that was his big thing with that. I mean, he and, and up until what, I mean, and yet wasn't wasn't AMC developing something with him though? Uh, a a, a uh, Walking Dead. Se- I mean, a, a a Living Dead series. Or something, or some I don't know. I don't know. Of I don't know. It was announced last year, two ago. Okay. Even maybe though there's Frank no mention about. of it on this bill. Uh, maybe site, Frank there about so. like send him an email. <laughs> but uh, you know, I mean, it's easy to forget too that you know some of his other movies, you know, uh, that that weren't zombie movies. Things like, well, my favorite is probably Martin. His, or the uh, crazy. Yeah. The, 
I like crazy. the crazies too, but it's it's only like a half a step away from a zombie movie. It's but, only uh, a half a step, but it was still it's an interesting it's an interesting film to watch today. Not to, I mean even the remake the remake is decent, but no that film is an interest to watch today because I didn't see it in the in the period where it came out, but to watch it today it's a fa- it's, it's it's a crazy film. Um, and no pun intended there either. But, <laughs> but no, but it is the film is insane. Um, if you really see, you know it's just a it does feel like something. It almost feels like the B side of like the Living Dead films. Almost stuff he couldn't get in there that he wanted to get in there. Yeah, that's 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 an interesting take on it. Yeah, but it definitely fits in with the uh, whole contagion sort of genre. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, right. Uh, pretty well. But Martin is uh, maybe my favorite of his non uh, non zombie movies because. Uh, uh, I just find that character to be sort of wistful and uh, and the entire movie to be kind of, um, I don't know, it's infused with kind of a different feeling than his other movies have, a, a little bit more of, a, of a, a kind of a strange sadness to it that I like. Um, yeah. yeah, no, no, definitely. But, uh, out, you know, out of his, uh, you know, I... I I haven't really, you know, gone into the latter day zombie movies, but uh, certainly, you know, Dawn, Dawn of the Dead is great, and and I have a deep appreciation for Day of the Dead too. Mm-hmm. I think that's gotten better as as the years have gone right. by. Right. Um, but uh, I don't remember having uh, so much of a. I don't think I I really liked Land of the Dead, and I think I stopped after that one. I didn't see Diary or Survival. But, Diary uh, was okay. Uh, it's the one I think it was the one after that. What is it? Survival of the Dead, mm-hmm. where I really just I I couldn't get into it. I, I just it was for me. I felt it really this. I mean, you can even say Diary of the Dead is just because it's really just taking the, the Night of the Living Dead taken from a different angle almost. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Um, <sighs> You know, but you can definitely yeah. You know, Land of the Dead is the one with Dennis Hopper, right? It it has its moments, but you, you're just happy that you know that George Romero can get a film that would go into a lot of theaters still. Mm-hmm. Um, I think at that point, I know that's a horrible thing to say, but in 2005, that is something to marvel at, though. But only a zombie movie. Yeah, yeah that's true. And, 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 I, yeah. and I, I I was always, uh, I, you know, I I don't know if he wanted to branch out and he was limited or if he was okay with that being his stock and trade. I think I remember reading like a quote from him that, you know, the only movies that he could ever get financed really were the dead films. Uh, and so if he wanted to work, that's what he did. Mm. Uh, and that, that seems to probably be right. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's only made, you know, two movies outside of the, Horror genre. I mean, uh, there's there's a movie I've never seen this, but there's always Vanilla <clears throat> from '71. I think is uh, I, I, if I remember correctly, it's kind of a uh, you know a marital drama, and um, mm-hmm. and then there's Night Riders, of course. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like I like that one. It's a yeah. weird movie, but I like that. Yeah. Um. And uh, you know, Monkey Shines is a really good one too. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah. But of course, probably his most popular movie is probably outside of uh, you know the other the others is probably Creepshow. I was going to say yeah. that, yeah. Um, which is is a lot of fun, even e- even if it is, I feel a little uneven. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's you know all the great uh, horror guys are. Falling away. Uh, yeah. And now uh, I guess we hit. Ha- I mean, you know, we have a new generation of horror masters or whatever. But uh, I guess out of that, you know, out of that sort of generation, I guess uh, only uh, John Carpenter is still around, really. Well, and John Carpenter and uh, is, wait, isn't Toby Hooper still all around? Hey, yeah, but I mean, is he even making movies? He's not making movies. Anymore. I think he's just trying to, you know. I I don't know what he's doing these days. I mean, I, he's trying not to get beat up by his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But there's always that. Um, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, uh, it's 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 sad. Well, but, wait a second. Know. Now, wait a second. Um, would it be? Would it be? Even though he's not American, he's Canadian. Couldn't, wouldn't we put Cronenberg in that category? 
Twitter I guess, Spaces? Yeah, certainly. And those I mean, I guess, films, right? I guess, you know, there's some foreign ones. Like, uh, I, I guess, is Argento still, uh, Argento is still Argento making movies? Argento is still, he's still making yeah. movies. Um, <laughs> but I bring up Cronenberg just because I went, you know, because the, the, uh, I got, I finally got scanners, the criterion for on the 50% off sale. So I got scanners yesterday. So I, I just, um, because he was, you know, he's, imp- I don't care about that. I think Cronenberg is <laughs> incredibly important. So, I mean. He is. He I do is. too. But you know what amazes me about Scanners? Because I rewatched it again recently too. The 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 big scene that everybody talks about uh, with the head blowing up, it's right. amazing that that happens in, in the first act of the movie. <laughs> yeah. they, You'd they expect that to be the big waiting. climactic thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but, great. but Cronenberg, I mean, Cronenberg, uh, for me, horror kind of was a, a stepping stone. Oh, like yeah. A fir- mm-hmm. Like a first a first act of Cronenberg, really. Uh, I mean, he, he more than anyone, he's the one that's kind of branched out into vastly different arenas. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I, I just think it's important to, to bring him up in the conversation. I mean, you could you could even stretch out. And say, um, you know, seventies the Palma certainly fits that mold um, to to a degree. Um, but no, um, we are losing. I think when John, I mean, we, it, what's really sad about I mean, Romero was only seventy seven, and I and I because I, I still think there was a, there was a lot of energy there. I think um, I think there. I, I don't know about. I mean, I think with Wes Craven, there was now that was a shocker when he passed away. That yeah. was I'm just that was a bad that Again, was just, that caught up. No pun No <laughs> pun intended. Well what can I say, Jamie? What can I say? They all use the titles. They all they're like Dean Coons. They all use the titles of, you know. Um <laughs> Yeah. You know, what can I say? Um but that that was that was um that was sudden um when he went. So yeah, I his, guess you his, know the next his, his, his films were the music of my heart. And they really no. were. Yeah, they were. They were the music of my heart. They were the, <laughs> they were they made me scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, please! Yeah, it's easy. All right, it. let's, let's well, move on. I mean, if you're talking about new, <laughs> if you're talking about new generation, I mean, those those are the ones that are waiting to die. But if you're talking about the new generation, I mean, who who do we have? I mean, James Wan. Is that is that it or Guillermo yep. Guillermo del Toro, of course. Uh, okay. Um, well, I think you have Eli Roth. I mean. You would have to, I mean, I guess put Eli Roth in that category. Um, I'm yeah. trying to think who else. James Wan. Um, who, um, and I'm telling you, oh. i got to say this because, uh, I mean, I don't have to say it. I just will say it. Uh, <laughs> I think James I think James Wan does really well with a couple of his films. I watched The Conjuring 2 because I mm-hmm. was on HBO the other night, and it works. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't see how anybody can bad talk it. It does exactly what it's made to do. It works. He does those, those well. Films, those films are very, I mean, the casting, I think the atmosphere, and I think just they're actually, he knows how to make a, a good, scary movie. Um, and he's very good at suspense. Those two Conjuring films are very good. Um, no, I would, you would, I guess yeah, you'd have to put him in that category. And he's another one that's, Trying is branching out um, into other films. Um, I, but I, I don't know. Eli Roth, I guess Guillermo del Toro. Um, who, who else? I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's real difficult after that. I mean, like, I can't. I, you know, I guess because I don't really think that yeah, has to. I mean, certainly some Japanese filmmakers have you know graduated into that. You know, like I guess I guess Miyaki. Uh, but, um, but he doesn't. He doesn't just do horror. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it gets a lot more Kikuchi, difficult after that. Uh, Shunsuki Kikuchi. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, okay. I guess you mean Takashi Miki, the one who did he, um, yeah, the audition. Audition. Yeah, uh, Miki. He does whatever he wants. I mean, he just does whatever he wants to do. I mean, he's not. Really bound. I, he'll go. He'll do a horror and film, you know, a samurai film. Yeah, right. And there's well, some I'm, like you know the the Swedish horror has really uh, taken grasp in the past couple of years with stuff like Goodnight Mommy, uh, and and then you have the 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 person that did the, the Baba Duke. I mean, those are the high profile horror auteur films that have come out in the past couple of years, and and both of those 
you know, left me really cold. I mean, I, mm-hmm. it was such a remove to them that they, they didn't really sink in to me. Mm. Rob Zombie, maybe? He wants to go. He's going back to music, though. I think even he realizes that um, he's not <laughs> he's not wanted. I mean, he's, he's going he's going back to music full time. I, I read a couple of weeks ago. So. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I really only love one one of his movies, which is The Lords of Salem, which I think is an amazing movie. But uh, I think The uh, Devil's Rejects. I would. I mean, but that's not really a horror movie. That's. I mean. But I would give him that, and that's, I would give, definitely give him that movie. Well, none of well, us on, are on, on this topic. Go ahead. Go ahead. None of uh, us are uh, real m- massive horror fans, so I, I assume that a more uh, well-versed horror fan could let us know of, of you know the people who are in the present-day pantheon. But I can't really think of too many. Well, I can think there's a lot of in, there's a lot of, like we we're talking about a lot of independent. Um, filmmakers um, that are making horror movies. But I, are I they mean, any good? That's what I'm saying. Are they masters at it? Are they ma- the well, they're masters? And I think we named James Wan. <laughs> yeah, would be the the James Wan, you know, Rob Guillermo del Toro. Um, who made the um, let the well, the guy who made Let the Right One In though also made Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. So I don't know what he's not a horror guy. He's yeah. not a horror guy. So what we have though is we have a lot of people who are making horror films, but they're making other things as well. Yeah. So um, it feels like you know how actors back in the day when they were trying to get in the business they they started out with a soap opera and that was the stepping stone. That's mm-hmm. what the horror feels like nowadays for directors. Yeah. Like it's their soap opera. <laughs> right, right, right. right. So, I mean, it's they're cheap to make. You know, get a lot of eyes on them. You know, so uh, yeah. Would you put Eduardo Sanchez, um, a local filmmaker who made Blair Witch Project, who made the um, Bigfoot movie Exist? He's made a lot of horror movies, but obviously Blair Witch. Oh, the guy who who re, who made the new version of Blair Witch, but also made The Guest. And oh god, what was the movie he made before that? Um, there was a movie he made before that. Um, I don't know his name, but I would actually put him in that category. He's someone to watch. Um. Well. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. I actually have a tablet now, so I will try to get to see what oh, I can find. Next. Yeah. I know what well, no, I got a tablet because um it was Isn't it Alex prime. something or I'm oh. gonna look it up, Jamie. I'm gonna try to look it up, okay? Just give me a moment, please. <laughs> Just give me a goddamn fucking moment. Come on, Dean, let's try to be hey. hey hon. Let's race him. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what are we I'm looking just trying at? To get, I'm looking at, I'm trying to get to the goddamn app. I only have the IMDb, I have the IMDb app. I spaced so, out uh, for a second. Uh, yeah, pay attention, there's going to be a test on this, Dean, okay? Oh, got, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> so, um, all right, here we go. Yes. Adam um, Weingart. Weingart. Adam Weingart, okay, thank you. All right. He's not a master. <laughs> Come on. Well, I would give the guest, what's the movie he made before the guest? What's the movie he made? Before I don't that. even remember the guest. The guest was a good movie. I like that movie. That was a good. That was a very suspenseful. That was a good thriller. Um, but he made the um, the latest Blair Witch. Well, you know, I wouldn't say that's a great movie, but I would think he's so, uh, he's also making the American version of Death Note. So I think mm-hmm. that's for Netflix. So he's someone I you know. I would say oh that's no, he contributed to VHS too. Uh, well, you know, you know, I, I wish I contributed to VHS. Okay, I'm not gonna wait to get a knock him for that. You're next. Right? Yeah. You're next. <laughs> not my favorite movie. Not my favorite horror movie. Um, I would actually have to say, you know, the filmmakers on the film, um, Double X, um, the female horror director movies. I would look look at that. Um, the Soska twins. Have made a lot of horror now movies. Now they're uh now they're possibly, you know, uh seem they seem to be uh you know, committed to the horror genre and doing good work. So. Yeah, I mean you have to bring them into the conversation. Um Yeah. You really do. They're they've they've made they've and they've like they are they're Canadian I believe and they've just worked their way up. I mean, they've really got it I gotta hand it to them. I'm very impressed with their output. Yeah, the get oh, you're next is the one that um, Adam yeah. Lingard did after VHS. I'm sorry, I didn't, if you said that, I'm sorry, I did not hear that because I was busy trying to get a network connection, okay? I'm sorry about that. Um, 